A new year, a new series. Welcome back to 92 Seasons Mode, but this time it's FIFA 22 style. Yes, my name is John Hot 9 and welcome to a brand new series on my channel. It is 92 Seasons Mode. I did this last year as my first ever FIFA video was 92 Seasons. So if you're new to my channel and don't know what I'm talking about, I'll explain that in a bit. It's a, it's a system where I have to play on seasons mode on fifa and have to play through all 92 clubs in the england's top four divisions premier league championship league one and league two and um, once i've played one game of them i have to rate them out of 10 and the team who's got the highest rating i'll be playing a career mode with them on fifa 23 the next fifa yes play more of the rules later but first i want to address something last year last year my videos were very long because I played live reaction throughout all of them. But in this one, I'm going to do something different. And to make it shorter and more easy to watch, I'm only going to play two of the games live. And the three, I'm just going to cut to scenes and offer to explain my rating and man the match. The reason is because it's going to be too long if I play all of them live. And you'll be seeing the live game at the start of the episode and at the end of the episode. And I only pick the live game either A if it's entertaining or B if it's a big club. The rest is just going to be, I'm just going to explain it quickly and write in on that. Alright, on to the rules. You may be thinking I'm new to my channel and don't know what a 92 seasons mode is. Like I said before, we pick a random team out of random out of a cup, which is definitely more suitable than Champions League drawing system. We choose the club, we play that club on 92 seasons mode, after playing one game with them, I will rate them out of 10. How I feel like I played with the team, I felt what, if I feel like I played well with the team, then afterwards I give them a 10. If I feel like I can't be asked with this team, if I feel like I played badly with this team, then afterwards I'll give them a lower score. Also at the end of the match, I will give my man the match, the player who stand out more for me. Other rules may be... The squad, like I can't change the formation, I can't change the tactics, but what I can do is move players around who I think should start and which don't. And also after that, rage quit rules are very simple. If they rage quit in the first half, then I have to restart that team again and afterwards get a result in the second game. In But if they rage quit in the second half, then afterwards I have to give the rate and then that. Right, I think that's everything explained. Let's get on to the first live game of today's episode. Okay, Brentford. Okay, this is this is the first Premier League team I've got. They're, they're quite entertaining to play with because last year they did really well for me. So Brentford have got a lot of players now, especially in the Premier League. They've got a lot of good players. So let's kick off. Let's hope we do well. Three on the ball, seeming very deadly. And oh, we got the ball easily. Yeah, Matt. On the ball, oh, easy counter attackers, Ivan Tony, come on Ivan Tony, back to the Brighton old days, he has scored, 1-0 Ivan Tony, good counter attack, easy goal, wrapping up, Ivan Tony giving us the lead, 1-0 Brentford, a great counter attack of that. Rodriguez, alright, the midfield is quite poor at pressing as you may see here, look at them, they're just standing around, and oh my god, they're going to be through, great interception though, great interception from defence, now can we capitalise, hello, oh hello. And Bomo, he's one on one with the keeper. And Bomo, brilliant pace. Oh, I got cheeky with the trip. Ivan Tony with the rebound. Oh, it's just wide. Unlucky. Ivan Tony on the ball. His team just sure loves to attack into Onyaka. Onyaka dribbles round the shot. He took a block, block right there. And oh, good lord. I need to focus now. Oh my god, it's 4 v 3 through ball. He's one on one with absolute ease. The shot it's in. Sobrani makes it 1 1. Freaking annoying, my defence just fell asleep right there. Same with the midfield. This midfield, I don't even know if it exists in this team. Alright, free kick in our own area. Pass it to Henry. Henry into Yalat. Yalat into Norberg. Norberg into Mbodo. Into Tony. Tony now trying to find someone. Trying to. Oh, gotta go by himself now. Ivan Tony shot! Oh, it's a good save. Off the foot of the keeper. Corner though, Sergio Canos whip this one in. Come on, get ahead onto it. Nope, gone straight into the air. Onyaka, touch, lovely, goes for goal. And oh, what a goal from Onyaka! Oh, from distance, right goal from the Brentford CDM at Orbit Team Gem. 
Brilliant he is. Absolutely. Actually, to be fair, defensive wise, I'm not sure. But on Yaka, fantastic shot, giving us back the lead. Oh my god. All right, we've got the ball from defense. Norgard. Now trying to find someone, trying to find anyone. Into Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony threw balls it into Rico Henry. Rico Henry sees players in the box, tries to dance around, trying to spot someone. Tag pass into Yala. Oh, stop. Wait, what? Oh, we've got a pen. Oh, get in there. Honestly, I didn't see that happen. I think Rico Henry got taken out in the box, but fair enough. Ivan Tony's going to step up for the penalty. Going to go right. Oh, no. I saw that coming. As soon as the keeper moved right, he saw where I was going to go straight away. Failed to double our lead right there. No guard. Pass it into Yelat. Yelat, slight tackle, failed by them. Uh, can we go for one more goal just before half time? Over the top through ball a bit. Yeah, it's a bit hairy. Defender had that. Half time is blown. Um, yeah, great performance for this team. I think I'm quite happy with that. We've been more attacking than that. So let's get into the second half. Reno, you know, they're seeing hey, Ronigo get back in this game. This guy does. Through balls into Anya. Anya now. No, crossed it in. Great arch. No, great block from the defenders. Great inter come on, let's try best. Great interception. All right, into Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony dribbles round over the top through ball. Lovely into Mboni. Bono, sorry, shot. Sure, it's in. Three one double lead. A fantastic over the top through ball from Ivan Tony. Great run from the Greek striker and a uh, French striker. Sorry, and we've got double lead. And he's pausing the game. He's going to be pausing the game, and I think you know what's going to happen. Here it comes. Can you feel it? Rage quit. First one. Help. That's a good result, honestly. 2-0. No, 3-1. Brentford, really good attack. If. So let's get down to the match stats. Right, Brentford. Um, what can I say about them? The attack is brilliant. Um, Bowmore and Ivan Tony, brilliant. Midfield, I hate. I can't. Onyaka is the only person who gets an off pass with that goal. But they didn't exist. The defenders had to do all the work. And there was just... Ugh. It wasn't that good when it comes to the midfield. It was one of the worst to play. Well, to be fair, yeah. But the attack was brilliant. I'm giving them an 8 because their attack was so good for getting them on the counter attack. Man the match, I'm giving to Umbomo. Brilliant runs. Honestly, someone who you want to get just to get the fantastic runs. He's the, your guy. So, get really good play, I recommend. So, we moved on. And our next team was Birmingham City. This team was a bit slow, honestly. They were just all over the place. Um, hardly making the runs. Troy Deeney, I know who plays for Birmingham, was just so awful in that game. And even though we could see it right there, we ended up losing that game 3-2. But but their striker, Lukas Jujitski, had done a really good goal, doing all the defenders. Lovely goal right there. But honestly, they were really slow. Rating-wise, I gave them a 3.5. Man the match, I gave it to their wing back Jeremiah Bella because he was the only person who actually damned to make a damn run in this team for him. Next up, we had Brexit FC Burnley. Now, this team was alright. Um, a lot of the players didn't want to put their effort into it, but they were solid. Their defence was quite solid, I'm not going to lie. But one person really made a difference, which I'll explain later. We won that game 2-1, um, a bit of a poor goal I conceded right there because Ben Nee was really falling asleep. Rating wise, I gave him a 6. It wasn't bad, it wasn't that good. Man of the match, Maxwell Cornet. My god, he was the one person making the runs, brilliant for him. I don't know how Burnley are managed to sign this guy, he's just phenomenal. Finally, Northampton Town from League One. Oh, this team was just awful i can't lie um even though we took the leave due to danny rose they just fell apart and the reason why they fell apart was because of two simple things the fullbacks were out of position 10 times out of 10 and it's pissed me off so much and the problem is the defense the center backs were so awful on the ball so they were losing the ball so bad we lost that game 6-2 to ipswich because they were stealing the ball off me with absolute ease and just put it in the back of the net embarrassing honestly um i gave him a two because we did score two goals man the match was danny rose because he was actually trying to make a damn effort in this team okay next team is wigan athletic league one doing really well at the time of filming this so they look like they're gonna go back in the championship but then again anything can change the second half of the season so wigan athletic let's get into the next game then shall we Keen on the ball Keane doing fantastic pass to Bristol City, crossed in, oh, head of goal, oh, straight to us, Naylor, oh, 
Great save from Bentley. A great opportunity. Three minutes in. All right, corner. McLean. Whip this one in. Come on. Head egg on nowhere. Oh, straight to Edwards. Edwards shot. Oh, to block the star. Damn it. That was a great opportunity. All right, Bentley taking the goal kick. Are we going to win this one? Get the header. Oh, great soaring header. And it's into Keane, into Edwards now. Edwards making a brilliant run into Lag. Lag now, who had problems with him last FIFA. Into Edwards. Edwards, great opportunity. Shot. Bloody hell, that close and you freaking missed it. Okay, Lag on the ball. Pass it into Cousins. Cousins into Keane. Keane, return the favour to Cousins. Cousins, shot. Bloody hell, great save again. Right. Oh no, Bristol City going to go for attack. After all the chances we had, don't let them go up and score. Oh no, the shot. Oh, Amos. Oh, he saved it onto the post. Whew. Oh, I almost count my chickens there. That was going to be bad. Bristol City got a goal, 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 goal kick and a whip this one. Great soaring header right there. Keen into Edwards. Edwards into lag. Can we finally get past this goalkeeper? Into Edwards. Oh, bloody hell. He's missed it. All right. Can we do something right here? Through balls. No. No. Just before half time. Don't let them score. Amos. Great saves. Couldn't. Oh, wish he controlled it a bit better right there. Power. Into what mode? Into Edwards now. Edwards. Into Naylor. Naylor now. Spots the run of Edwards. Edwards. Fantastic run. Trying to find support. Come on. Trying to find anyone right here. No. Oh, you know what? It's just going to be half time. Honestly. We deserve to be winning, not by one, but by three. We've been 100% the best team. I bet I would even show most of the highlights how many shots on effort I've had with this team. It was just, oh my God, so many efforts. But we can't get past this bloody Bristol City. This is getting on my nerves. I just want a goal, please. Cousins on the ball. Pass it into Lag. Lag, lovely dancing into Keane. Keen. Oh, Naylor, he's one on one. Naylor's one on one with the goal. It's got to be. Oh, for flip's sake. Come on, get the header. No, for, for flip. Oh, this is getting on my nerves. Lag, shot, bloody hell. I hate it. I hate it. I can't take it anymore. Crystal City on the ball, cross it in. Oh, great pressure onto him. Got the ball into Naylor. Naylor into Keen. Into Lag. Come on, we've got to do it. Lag, fantastically. All he's got to do is beat the goalkeeper. He has! It's over, folks. We've finally gone past Bristol City. Oh, this has been waiting. I've been waiting so long for this. It's 1-0. Rightfully deserved. It was going to happen eventually, and we did. All right. Okay, in Bristol City. They go, oh, don't know. Great header. Oh, it's great into him again. Oh, he's managed to win it again. Fantastic work from the centre-back. All right. What? Into Edwards. Edwards controls it fantastically. Pass it in. Lag gets a brace. It is 2-0. The goals are coming in now. They're flying past now. We've finally got a double one. Lovely deserved. Met Lag. 2-0. Fantastic work from the centre back who started the play. And we've got another. Corner Bristol City. Can we get deal with this well right here? With this one in. Come on. Header gone nowhere. Into Lag. Lag now, and we get him on the counter attack. Lag into power. Power does fantastically. And oh my god, he is trying to find support. He sees lag. You know what I'm going to do to get the hat trick. Lag, it's in. 3 0, the first hat trick of 92 seasons mode so far. It goes to lag. Rightfully deserved. We got him on the counter attack, and it is now 3 0, Wigan Athletic. Brilliant, brilliant performance. If you're joining me here, um, yeah, he stopped playing. We've got a little baby on the other side right here. He's just refusing to play. He can't take it anymore. And, yeah, I'm just going to end his misery right there. Naylor, yeah, you know what? Naylor, do your best. How I, um, yeah, it's in. For now, um, I'm not going to count this into my final judgment for this team because he's not playing. So, yeah. Oh, wait, it's frozen. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I think he's rage quit. 4-0. Um, yep, rage quit. It happened. So, 4-0 result. Great game. Um, Yeah, this is definitely going to be one of the live games. If not, another team will do better. So, yeah. Um, Rating-wise, I'm going to give him a 9. I would give him higher, only if they bloody put the ball in the back of there. There were so many opportunities. I don't think I'm going to show you how many opportunities I have with the team. 
a felt burn in the back in there, but yeah, I'm giving him a 9. It's a really good performance from Regan Athletic. My man of the match, I'm stuck between two people, but I'm actually going to give it to the centre-back Watmouth. Such a brilliant defender in the air. Goal kick, every time Bentley had one, every time Bristol City had one, he was just winning the header with ease every time. Such a good centre-back to have in a team. Brilliantly a winning header, so yeah, Watmouth gets man the match for me. And there we go, that is the first five teams of 92 seasons mode i've got to say we play five teams per an episode so this will be up weekly now so every week we'll expect another 92 seasons mode i would show the up-to-date table but i thought i spoiled it last time for doing it every week so i'm only going to do it when we're halfway there to show you so far who's top of the table so without a shadow of a doubt with those five teams done that's going to be the outro to the video. Thank you ever so much for enjoying my new series. If you do, leave it a like. As well, as I always say, 92 season mode, if you're a Birmingham fan, a Brentford fan, a Wigan Athletics, a Burnley or Northampton Town fan, give us a like, support your team, comment down below for any other games you want me to play, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. As always, I'll see you later.